Now we're going to have a look at the 3D displays, which you unfortunately won't be able to really make much out of on our video, but we're going to show it anyways. Uh, I think that for the 40, uh, 3D display is getting more and more popular right now. People are getting more interested, especially you can see here. 3D displays are showing games because game display or the theater displays are more required for this 3D display. So first of all, you can see the 47 inch. Uh, we'll put the barrel in front of the TFT LCD. So you will see that we don't need any glass goggles to show the 3D. But uh, normally the 3D display will reduce the resolution. Right. So we use our Quad HD display, high resolution. This is higher, this is a... Two this is quad, quad 1080 or...? Uh, yeah, uh, no, 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 Quad 720. Uh, quad 720. Yes, right. Quad 720. So it could help to recover those loss in the uh, 3D during the 3D process. So you could still, because stand here, you could see the 3D display, that would be very good, but without goggles. All right. Okay. So what refresh rate is that running at? 100 or? Uh, do you mean the refresh rate? Uh, refresh rate. I should be, I should be 100. 100, okay. Yes. Because it's still flickering a little bit. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, I think that this is the first one we without. We just put a barrier on that. So this is the first. So I would say pretty much a prototype to this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the other ones. This one. All this will be need the goggles to put it down. And of course, if you can, if you want to show that, I would. I would like you to try this. Okay. Take a look. Sure. Okay, uh, so this is, uh, you can see this with a shutter glass, so you can see even with a goggle, this one have the best performance in the 3D space. Of course, that depends on how long you could stand for the goggles. Right. But this one, you could compare, okay, let's put this one. This is a polarized, polarized 3D display. This is more economic, okay, so cheaper. In the other words, it's cheaper. So it's easier to get, but performance-wise, I believe that you can see if you want to compare, yes. you can a little bit. Shutter glass, that one will be much better than this, but right. this is a, easier to get because this so is a cheap. This is a passive glass or is it active? Uh, it's active glass. Active. All yes. right. So there's batteries in there. So you All can right. see, yeah, yeah. So you can see here. So it's not a very not as light as this one. Right. Okay. So this would have the best have the best performance, but this one is easier to get. So what do you think? I mean, for, for, for the active glasses, you need 120 hertz at least. So you think that's going panel. to be very, very uh, panel popular? Itself. I would say panel itself needs 120 hertz. At least, right? Yes. Yeah. So get do you think there are going to be a mainstream gaming panels for 180 or 200 hertz? Uh, of course, faster is better. But right now, I would say with a mature technology to get it work, I would say 120 hertz will be the minimum right That's now. That's going to be the first step. Yes, first hertz. step. And run into four times, you can see frequent. Four, four times the frequent to be 240. Right. But that will be next step. So those displays with 240 hertz, could you use that with the active shutter glasses and you would have 120, 120? Oh yes, of course. So that, that's an option, right? That's an option. That next step. I would Perfect. say that would be the next step to have this. Okay. Thank you very much.